Hi there, it's DJ V, and in this video I'm going to be answering a very popular question and that is where do I buy Briar model horses? So I live in Canada, which means briars are really hard to come by, but if you live in the United States, they're pretty easy, they're pretty common. If you're an international person living in the UK, Australia, or New Zealand, or any of those overseas countries, it's a lot harder, and I don't totally have answers for you guys, so I'm gonna do my best to explain where you can buy briars within North America. So the easiest, most basic place to go about buying briars is definitely just on the briar website. So briar horses has its own website in which all of their current products are available. So if you go into traditional series here on the website and you scroll down, they have all of their recent releases as well as all the models that are not discontinued. So you can buy them here at any time um, they often have shipping deals and sales happening so there's free domestic shipping within the US over $50 now I do find the Briar website a little bit pricey I mean $46.99 for a traditional model is pretty expensive Briar's models have gone up in value over the years there was a time when I started collecting that they were only around $30 $35 and so that's buying your Briar brand new in a Briar box this is what they generally look like when you purchase them. They, they come in a yellow box like this. Now there's also a lot of distributors that have their own online store. If you just look up Briar Dealer online, there's actually a lot of independent dealers that carry them, either through their storefront, a tax store, or an online uh, website. So you can order a lot of these briars online actually through the website. So like this, for example, Triple Mountain Model Horses is a briar dealer. This is a website. So if it's a website, generally you're going to be safe. It's going to be legit. A place like Castle Toys here, this is actually based in uh, Canada and they have a large selection of briars. So these are going to be priced in Canadian because it is a Canadian dealership so they're a little more expensive in Canada just because of the price exchange so here we're ranging from the 50 60 to up to 70 dollar range usually for a brand new briar on the American kind of websites they're a little bit cheaper you can look around and compare different dealers to find the best price Greenhawk is a really good one for Canada as well. There's free shipping on orders over $50, which is good for those Canadian peoples because I know it's hard for Canadians to find briars. Apple Saddlery is my favorite for Canadian distributors. Shipping is a flat rate of $10 and their prices I find are pretty decent. I got a whole bunch of these guys back on Boxing Day when they had a big Boxing Day sale. Horsing around here. So there's a whole bunch of different websites that you can look into just by searching Briar Dealer and pick the best one for you. Um, I don't believe that any of these dealers are scammers. You're still gonna get your product because it is an official website. They're paying to run this website, which means they are going to be legitimate. Now, you might be concerned as to why I'm saying so frequently you're not gonna get scammed. This is legit. So within the model horse community, a lot of people aren't looking for the briars brand new off the shelf. They're looking for the older ones they don't have, the ones that they wanna collect, the specific model from the specific year, a very good resource for this kind of thing is identifierbriar.com. I'm going to traditional and say you like the American Saddlebred Stallion. This is going to give you all of this American Saddlebred Stallions that have ever been made on this mold. And so people are looking for that. They're looking to collect like this JC Penny American Saddlebred. Like they want this one in specifics or they're looking for a Chabasco and they want this one in specifics. And so you can't buy these on the Briar website because it's already retired. So where would you find models to customize, models that are rare, models that are for your collection? So for vintage stuff, you definitely can go to your local antique stores or garage sales and you will find some things there depending where you live. And some local tax stores uh, often carry them. So ranch supply stores, I know. Tractor Supply Company in this in America definitely carries briars. They do limited runs with uh, Tractor Supply Co. as well. Greenhawk is a big one in Canada. So like different tax stores and hobby stores definitely carry briars. So you just have to kind of know your community and where they are being carried. There's a couple places online to purchase briars in a different manner. Now I'm going to make a huge disclaimer before I say this. 
there are scam artists in the model horse community. Unfortunately, people do take advantage of other people. They steal their money and they don't deliver the horses. This is an online transaction and not through an actual website. So you do have the implication of being scammed. That being said, I've been buying horses for 15 plus years. I have not been scammed once. Now, the best thing that you can do in this circumstance is check the model horse transaction board. And I will show you that a little bit later in this video. The best website that I've found for buying models and most of my collection has come off of a website called model horse sales pages. This is what it looks like when you launch. You can post on here or you can just surf it and um, purchase models yourself. So over here are like the most recent posts that have occurred. So we have a couple horses here. So this is like a search bar that you can search for specifics. But if you just leave this blank and hit go, it's going to give you all of the ads. So you can see there's 141 pages of model horses listed on this website. There's a lot of things happening here. <laughs> and it's everything from tack to Peter Stone horses to Chinas to resins to model horse supplies, model horse references, micro minis, blank resins, original finished briars, like everything is on here. It's one of the most popular sites to find things. So there's going to be a lot of things if you're looking for that really specific horse. So say I was looking for a Nakota horse. So if you type in Nakota and hit go, it's going to come up with all of the ads that say Nakota in them. So we have a Moon Warrior here. Um, there's a Sundance and a Phantom. Um, these two are on hold, so they're not available. Some of these ads have extra things in them. So when you click on the ad, this person is selling a whole bunch of different horses for various prices. So we're gonna go into this micro mini hue that was for sale this week. So you can click on the picture to expand the picture. It's saying that this is on hold, so it's not available. This is who's selling it, which is me. And the type is just the abbreviation for what it is. So you would click on this link here, it brings you into the ad. It's going to show you when it was listed, what's happening, who it was sculpted by, what's, what is it labeled as, and like the price, shipping, different things. And it's going to give you information on the seller. So the name, when they joined, their email, where they're from, if they accept international shipping, trades, time payments, different things, contact vendors, save to a friend. And then you're going to scroll down and the main the rest of the ad is going to appear to you there's going to be some more information at the bottom say i wanted to buy this horse don't ever click this contact vendor button this gives you a little pop-up that you can send emails to but it does not work for most people so your best bet if you're wanting to buy this horse is just to copy the email and paste it into your own email to send them a, a message privately. So then it's it's an interaction between you and the seller and you're gonna either transfer PayPal, not really through your credit card. So that's how a lot of people buy models. That's This is the number one website for that, just because it's so rich and there's so many ads happening all the time. Now, another one that's recently come out, I've actually listed on for the first time. So my Otheo is here. And if I click view auction, it's gonna take me here. And this is called Model Horse Place. And this is just another version of Model Horse sales pages, but more high tech and modern. So if you just search in here, there's like a bunch of different things. A lot of the popular artists are starting to list their customs here. Um, some OFs come up on here, but there's definitely not as much as some of the other websites. Now, another really popular one is eBay. If you type in Briar, you're going to get quite a few models coming up. I do shop on eBay sometimes. So the biggest thing when you're shopping here is make sure that the seller has a 100% positive or a high percentage positive feedback. If they have a really low one, like less than 50% or even 70%, I'd say you want to stick to high 90s and 100 because that means that they've scammed people before or they're not representing the items they are selling appropriately. Now with eBay, I have noticed too, a lot of these people aren't collectors, so they don't know how to ship their horses. So if you're buying from just a random person with like a random model that they pulled out of their garage, they may not package it appropriately. So you may get it kind of smushed and weird. And all the packages I've ordered from eBay have been like that, <laughs> unfortunately. You can find, um, briars as well on places like kijiji or craigslist or different um online 
sales websites. Amazon actually also is another one that does actually carry quite a few briars as well. So you have to be careful with Amazon though because some of the prices are like a little wacky sometimes. If you get like one that's a little older, they'll like hike the price to like $100. If it's on Amazon, it's not worth $100. <laughs> Some of them on Muddle Horse sales pages are just because they're rare. Another big one though definitely is Instagram. And Instagram is just a big one. If you search the hashtag Briars for sale, people are constantly selling on Instagram for different prices, messaging these people. So you would contact these people by messaging them or receiving their email to do a transaction is how Instagram would work. And Facebook has a very large portion of this as well. So if you just look up Briars for sale, there's a ton of groups. So if you click on the groups, there's like quite a few happening here. Um, this one is really popular. So if you go into this group, people are often selling all kinds of things, whole collections, rare models, different things. Um, you can buy a ton of different horses online in this setting. Now, my biggest piece of advice is just that you're going to want to join the Model Horse Transaction Board. So this is for if you're using any of these off-site websites such as Facebook, Instagram, Model Horse Sales Pages, Model Horse Place, you want to go into this group and this is called Model Horse Transaction Board and it has 5,900 members and this is majority of the Model Horse community, just saying. And you wanna search this group for the name. So if I search my name, it's gonna come up with people that say, hey, she was great. Greens to DJB for this small herd. So she ordered some horses for me. She was happy. She said green light. So green light basically means good transaction. Red light means don't deal with this person. So you want to do your research and you want to look up people before you buy from them because they could scam you and you don't know if everybody is honest. And if anybody gives you a weird gut reaction, don't buy from them. If they sound like a kid, don't buy from them. But for the most part, you're pretty safe. There's a couple of really frequent names within the hobby that do come up. But if you just do a quick search on this transaction board, you'll find out right away. If the person isn't on the transaction board, that is your gamble. You're doing an online sale. If you feel like the person is going to be legit and follow through, then go for it. But if you don't, definitely avoid the transaction and if you don't feel comfortable. Another thing that you definitely want to invest if you are going to be buying on these websites is PayPal. PayPal is like the best online money exchange process. I use it to sell. I take all of my payments through PayPal and I use PayPal to buy things. And it's just the easiest thing to use because it actually does come with protection insurance. So if you're sending money to someone, you can get goods and service protection. So if something goes wrong, you can make a claim through PayPal to get your money back. eBay has a similar function within it. But if you're working off of like model horse sales pages, as long as you have that protection when you send the payment via PayPal, you should be okay because you do have that extra backing that comes from PayPal. So I would highly recommend using this. It's free to use. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. Sometimes um, if you do send money in alternate currencies, there is some fees that go along with it. But in general, if you live in the States, you're sending US money to someone else it's free to use you're just sending the money you can input your bank information and your credit card it's all completely safe I highly recommend it I use it for everything everyone in the hobby uses it for everything so don't be afraid to uh, sign up for that and use that for sure I hope that this helps you in your process of buying model horses and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below or send me a message or even an email if you need to so thank you so much for watching and happy online shopping